Refine. Oh, this is the Lich though. I'm interested in trying the Lich, especially with the new buff. She's a very high risk, high reward champion. You take two damage every single turn to make one coin. It's for high IQ players such as myself. Ha, this guy's toast. So let's go to the other one. So it used to be three damage, now it's only two damage, so they kind of buffed her a little bit. Yeah, there you go. I think you're supposed to just keep smashing that button every time you get the chance. Starting with a token opener, so that's nice. Okay, so uh, what's the trick? With all that extra money, what do you do with all that extra money? Buy more units or level up harder? The battle is really raging out there. Two coins. With all this extra money, I can push level 5 faster. If I push level 5 faster... Ooh, I should get the Floating Watcher, right? Because I deal damage to myself every turn, so I can passively buff them. Without needing Wrath Weavers. Maybe. Maybe the trick with Lich is to pair it with the Floating Watcher. Does seem like a nice combo. Damn, dude. Okay, that was a really lucky attack. It was a 50-50. But still lucky it went left instead of right. Else I would have taken one extra damage. Ooh, amalgam. How's it going out there? Definitely want the amalgam. Make all the difference. We can gain a coin this turn. And then just buy the metal tooth deeper, which is a 5 3 here. Have it up in the front for maximum damage to kill vulgar homunculuses. Uh, I could maybe I push level next turn. Nice. Yeah, having the coin just smooths out the curve. I don't think I'm saving it for one big like spending spree, shopping spree. Keep up the pressure. Can buy two units here, but I could also push the level up. Hmm. I think it's better to fill your board for now. What are the two best things here? Do I want two Murloc Tide Colleth? Not really. I, I don't really respect Murlocs. You're doing great out there. You're gonna go for the power now and then level up next turn. Take it slow. That's good attack. Having these coins means I won't have an awkward turn where I, like, waste two coins You're waiting for something. Mm, what's the best thing here? I don't mind a reroll. Cadgar's pretty crap, though. I'll buy Spawn of Nazoth. It's technically a 8-8 uh, eight, eight in terms of stats when it fully buffs your board. So, it's good for early game. If I have four star tavern that means i get way more options to pick from and if i can hit the floating watcher it's good nice buff the buff not bad trade for us the bomb was really lucky too because i deal uh two extra damage because it went right stuff left gonna keep hurting myself push level Ooh, this guy hasn't been pushing though he's been just going for minions I could get the shredder here I don't think it's worth uh, Hellmaster and Nethrazine Overseer with an Iron Sensei I do like the Iron Sensei starting to buff dudes these are all not bad Three dollars for an iron sensei right now. Three dollar, three dollar. Can I get a three dollar? Yeah, sure. Come close and listen. I wanna freeze this. No, I think I'm still looking for the floating watcher. You're doing great out there. It's the best thing I can get. Oh that theme is powerful. Oh, 
Oh, okay, nice. Okay, uh, it was always gonna tie because it was a two-two and a two-two, so there was no way I lose that. But still, I was a little nervous. I don't want anything here. This might be okay, Vermin Sensei. It's decent stats. Lookout's never bad. Co Lightseer. Could get this. Let's uh, buff the Malcolm up for now. I'm gonna want to sell. Do I want the Festive Wolf? No, let's roll for one. Ah, uh, nope. Could go a mech deck, but we need Cobalt Guardian to be a mech deck. Yeah, if we want to go mech, we need ha to have Cobalt Guardian. That's what I would have picked. I'll get this for now. We can sell this and this, and then just go full in on the mechs if we want. Mmm, a beast. If we can snipe that uh, hyena, that'd be great. Got two hyenas we gotta snipe. Come on, get the hyena! Uh, I think it should be even, right? Yeah. Oh, wait, I won! Ooh. I was not expecting that, I was just gonna be even. Nope. Yeah, super good. Like where you're going with this. Another amalgam, sure. Psychotron. Oh, Cobalt Guardian. Exactly what we're looking for. Reinforcements requested. Uh, we'll slap it on the annoying module. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want a second amalgam out there. Not really. We need the extra space right now for other things. Kind of want the Toxfin, so I'll freeze for this. Actually, I could just spend my three gold here by the Toxin. A good tactical choice. Hmm. I feel like that's an okay play. Have it here to uh, break shield. So this is gonna attack. Then this is gonna attack and break a shield. And this is gonna be attacked and summon a rover. So we got a we got a plan here. Ideally, we find Bran or Enforcer, because that's our late game options. Now it's going to summon the rovers. <sighs> We're looking for replicating menace, more cobalt guardian, more annoyal modules, and the metal tooth leapers when we can find it. Max Psycho Oh, baby a triple. Exactly what you were uh, I should have played Metal Tooth Leaper so I get multiple mech buffs there. Oops. Brand Bronze Beard, let's go. Who knows what secrets will uncover? This is really controversial, but I love taunting my brand. <laughs> Sorry, I love taunting my Cobalt Guardian. I think it's one of the best uses of taunt. But not necessarily everyone agrees. My seal for Argon. My logic is um um 
because they're gonna rotate attacks on Cobalt Guardian and on Security Rover, you get more value of the shields. But you get weird cases like that where the double attack just goes straight on the Cobalt Guardian and you look silly and chat says, ha, huh, that was a big mistake, you shouldn't have taught the Cobalt Guardian. But I'm pretty sure it's still the right play. Those do mech builds usually look for Iron Sensei. No, it's probably your most disposable unit. Get this. Uh, no use for Toxin. Just gonna get Colite Seer to give this health. And King Burgo Bungo. This plus two plus two on this. This will only buff one unit, so it's not very value. It all buffs the amalgam though, so maybe it's fine. Just feel like there's better options. Like this, this guy's good. I decide if I want Hydra. Toxfin. No. Nope. Iron Sensei, I'll take another one. Maybe I can triple it. Uh, I think I should have buffed the Cobalt Guardian with the uh, uh, Scrap Junker. See? Now Cobalt Guardian has the shield again. And now they have to attack it, and they might attack the security rover, which gives them more shield. You just have to get really lucky. When you taunt your Cobalt Guardian, and you definitely have to have at least one other unit taunted up. Nice work out Cobalt there. Guardian here. That Amalgam you upgrade. Sure, why not? That one might That's what I would have picked. <laughs> uh probably just strong shell scavenger here. I don't know if I want to play it now. The weird thing is the iron sensei buffing like each other, that'd be pretty bad. Hmm like this, like this. Yeah, this is fine. So what's going to happen is, this is going to attack, and maybe my Cobalt Guardian gets hit, and then this is going to attack. Uh, is it better to have this second? Oh. So this is going to attack, and maybe my Cobalt Guardian gets hit. And if it gets hit, my Security Rover attacks. Which then can summon a shield for my Cobalt Guardian, which then is protected, and he might then attack my Security Rover, which then gives this a shield, so it's protected. You can see why I taunt my Kobo Guardian. Alright. There's a legitimate benefit to taunting it. And not have it hide behind other taunts. These are all part of my French, completely useless. Ah, oh, this one's okay. You're down a minion and up a goal. I like using this on um, Cobalt Guardian. Guess he gets his shield back every now and then. The problem right now is I just don't have a lot of way to give him like more shields because I don't have replicating menace on anyone, and I've been trying to find it for a while. I like this positioning. This to remove shield. Security Rover hopefully gets a hidden, makes a spawn, and gives Divine Shield to Cobalt Guardian. Ooh, Golden Hyena. That's really scary if we don't snipe it. There we go. That's the shield combo I was talking about. Okay, this is a little scary. We did snipe the hyena, so we should be fine. And nice, we hit the pack master too. Okay, we win. 
Sniping the Hyena was critical. Since it was a Golden Hyena, it would have been buffed by plus four, plus two. Every single dead beast. These two guys tied with each other, that's why neither of them died. Red push level, uh, there's not a lot of great 5 star units. I'd rather keep it low and just look for a replicating menace. Oh, Cobalt Guardian combo. Sure, why not? Keep looking though. Argus! Ah, uh, no. Go ahead and hire one of these recruits. God, where's all the replicating menace today? Like Fang Enforcer, it's only a plus four, plus two, but it beats the heck out of a screw jank clunker for now. Go ahead and hire one of these recruits. Harness your rage. God, someone running mechs? I can't find a single replicating menace or a, uh, an oil module right now, it's crazy. Damn, that's a big Wrath Weaver. I need my poison guy up front for that guy. Good lordy. Alright, we got him though. Okay, so Curator has a big Wrath Weaver. I'm incentivized to put my poisonous near the front. Replicating mana is about time. This is free, right? Yeah, it's free. That's what I would have picked. It's free because you know I get three units off it, including itself. So I just go for things that buff my amalgam. Jank Clunker, my favorite dude to see. Defensive systems online. Right now, the main thing I'm looking for is an oil module for my super amalgam. I just realized with should a mini bot having a shield, it's really unlikely it dies and summons micro bots for the Cobalt Guardian, right? We'll have to taunt our shielding mini bot too with maybe an Argus. Yeah, we need it up front. I'm worried about swipers, so I'm gonna put this Light Fang Enforcer. So if there's a swiping hyena that attacks my security rover, it won't hit my amalgam. Oh no. Didn't get to use my shield. But I, s I think we win this right. Yeah, we got this. So he beat the curator two rounds ago. We should have no problem cleaning up. Yeah, Lich Bazile's new ability it only takes two damage. And I think we pressed it like, what, 20 times? So, definitely liking it. Much lower risk. And the fact that your curve gets smoothed out so well is huge. I'll take the free primal fin buffer. Oh wait, they are bad. So this, play this, and then sell it right away, and then play this. Play power, why not? Sell it right away. Argus noise. We could get the Mecha Ryu for my Cobalt Guardian. Who do we taunt? Sell the Light Fang, buy the Mecharu. Give it taunt. My shield for Argus. Mm, okay, that was a mistake. Your 
Okay, hopefully my Kobo Guardian doesn't get double hit twice in a row and gets maximum shield value. Okay, don't hit my Kobo Guardian again. Oh my god, it actually got sniped twice. Wait, that's really bad. Are we okay? Yeah, we're fine, right? Okay, Jesus, that was close. I can't believe Kobo Guardian got sniped twice. But, GG's. Oh, that was a close game. I think the only damage I took was from my own hero power. Well played, well played. That's how it's done. You're a real inspiration, friend. Thanks, Bob. You're the best. Hey, lights out.